They had warned of a snowstorm and I'm sure you can see it is really a winter wonderland out there. The, the cars are all covered with snow and it's so, so it is beautiful. It is, it is really beautiful, I have to say. Uh, but it's on days like these that I'm so grateful for being home and enjoying the comforts of home. And for me, that usually means food in in a cozy, you know, prepared in a cozy kitchen, eat, eaten um, in comfort. And also, I, I just love having tea and something nice to go with that as well. Anyways, it's really, really bad out there. Reminds me of the song, Go Baby, It's Cold Outside. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. So it's not every day that we do this, but it is a very, looks like a very cold winter's day outside. And I actually um, avoid eating pork. <laughs> so I don't, as much as I love bacon, I don't eat a lot of bacon, but today I thought I would do some bacon and eggs. And uh, this is going to be a pancake with berries. So let's see how that goes. So I flipped over the pancake. It's, I guess, I don't know, flapjack pancake. It looks really, really good. And it took me a while actually sort of to master this and figure out the right pot for it, which um, is actually the smallest little pot that I have because I find that it um, it makes the, um, the pancake, makes it a little thicker than maybe most people are used to, but it does make it retain a, like a, uh, a small cute little shape and it's easier to cook that way and also it just looks better and while I'm doing that I am I do like actually I could have kept them the way they were sunny side up but I actually like scrambled eggs even better I find it's even somehow more decadent and the other thing I find is that with the sunny side up you kind of have to um, is it it's very hard to transfer into it's very hard to transfer into a bowl or a plate without breaking so uh, like magic these scrambled eggs are coming together and there you go oh my god does it ever look good I have a bit of butter I have some thawed out berries that are a little bit frozen still but not completely they're more thawed than frozen some whipped cream some butter some crispy bacon some scrambled eggs and now I'm just going to do this last part which is so delicious and that is put some maple syrup on the pancake now maybe I could have put this on two separate plates and it is something that's definitely going to be shared between the two of us but I'm thinking it is kind of cool to have it all on one plate and there you go. Very beautiful, wonderful weekday treat and certainly a motivation for getting up. Hi. It's still snowing outside and it is such a blizzard. And um, we were cleaning house the other day and we found this. I'm just going to ask for a close up. So it's basically rose petal spread. And it's something that you can make, but it is so cool that I actually have this from quite a while back and way before the uh, the pandemic. And this is just so lovely. And I was just reading about it and thinking, oh my gosh, how wonderful it would be to, to have a sample of this. And I don't like toast. I do love tea and the weather, as I just said, it's a blizzard outside, still snowing. And I just thought it would be so nice and cozy to make a real nice high tea and uh, not sa not too many things, not sandwiches and all that, but just have this, try out this rose petal spread and to make here, I don't have all the ingredients here, but I have some lemons and I have some blueberries. I'm going to be using more blueberries and to make some lemon scone, le sorry, lemon blueberry scones with lemon icing for tea. So that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm really, really looking forward to it because I haven't had tea in a very, very long time, and I'm especially looking forward to this, trying this rose spread. Uh, it's winter, and it'll bring a bit of summer spring into our lives. 
So I will get started. Hi everybody, so I'm back. Look at this yummy, yummy, delicious lemon peel, grated lemon peel or lemon zest. It, I just love it and it smells so nice. So to that, I'm going to be starting now. You can see this is uh, one cup of flour. There's one cup of flour. And what I did was I measured out the ingredients. So to the left, I have some salt. I have some baking powder. And I have some sugar. And what I did was, because I don't have as many blueberries as I need for this recipe, I have halved this recipe that I'm doing. So what I'm doing obviously right now is what we usually do, uh, which is <clears throat> mixing the dry ingredients together. Now, I'm very, very lucky that the camera person is here because I'm going to ask him to show me um, grating. I need, I have here half a cup of butter and I need to grate that in to the dry ingredients. So if he can come, hold the camera like so, and not press the red button. Yes, exactly. It's a little tricky if you excuse us here and just take the picture here. What I'm doing is very unusual. This is not supposed to be room temperature. This is supposed to be frozen butter. And I'm just going to ask him to take a closest shot he can. So you can see I'm grating it, and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to continue doing that. Okay, so you can, can uh, turn it on. Okay, so I have, as you can see, my extract. I have, believe it or not, half an egg. I put the, uh, poured in the extract, and now I'm pouring in a quarter cup of heavy cream. I'm mixing this all together, and then I am, by the way, I wanted to show you how it looks, the grate, the grated butter with the flour I think that looks kind of cool because I've never done this recipe before and I've never heard of grating butter but it looks really interesting and anyway so we've got all that here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring this mixture in lightly and mixing I will continue to do that it will be these are scones this is not a cake so it will be a little bit um, like a bread kind of cons not exactly a bread See, most people I'm sure are familiar with scones so they're not quite the texture of cakes or cookies they're a little more I would say bread like so I'm gonna continue doing this but as um, I said I have less blueberries than the recipe called for. I'm with the juice. I'm adding in the blueberries, and all I'm going to be doing is mixing this up. And I think, by the way, that this in itself looks very, very good. I just wanted to show that um, this is what the balls uh, look like. And all I'm going to be doing is so straightforward. I'm not going to be bothering showing you, but I'm going to be getting out my rolling pin, and I'm going to be flouring them a little bit more because they are a little wet, as you can see. And then uh, they're, I'm going to be putting them in the oven in a baking dish and baking them. And then when they come out, I will be back. So while I shoot, or I should record, say record, the last part of this video, uh, the second last part of this video for the scones, I should mention that I forgot uh, what I showed you of the scones. They do need to be refrigerated for a little amount, small amount of time and then uh, put in on the baking sheet in the manner that's described in um, the recipe that will be provided in the description box. So what I have here, I'm doing a little bit of my own take. As you can see, I have some lemon peel and I also have some very soft butter. I have um, some, uh, I'll just show you the icing sugar that I'm using. It's, um, Whatever brand it is, it says natural gluten-free icing sugar. So I have some of this icing sugar that I'm going to be um, adding with the little bit of butter and the lemon zest for added flavor. And here I have from the two lemons, uh, sorry, from the one lemon, I have some lemon juice. And I will be adding that in. 
and I will be mixing this all together. Hi everyone. So I was in the middle of making my lemon glaze, which I want to show you. Looks good, eh? And I did not follow the recipe for the lemon glaze they gave me. And I want to talk about, I'm going to return to the raspberry, uh, sorry, the rose petal spread. There's a story behind that, which is not a good one. But anyways, I did my best. So I already put, the scone doesn't look very good, but it is very tasty. And to my... How did you know? Before? Because I tasted some of them. This is one of them. Yeah, I It's not see. perfect. It's not perfect, but to my credit or my defense, I should say, and here's my tea, my cup of tea with milk and sugar. So just sorry, I wanted to say, I have to eat this quickly and I'm going to even eat it with a spoon because of the way it looks. Because the glaze is cool, but it's melting a little bit because the scones are so warm so yeah i had a bite of one of them it's very tasty but the baking powder because we didn't get any new baking powder it's very old it works but it doesn't work as good as it should mm. my god is it ever delicious we're gonna have some together when I was little, there was a lady very close to where we lived who used to make scones. Doesn't look like much, but it is so tasty. And probably if you have baking powder, good quality baking powder, it's going to look, yours will look a little bit better. But I'm telling you, I didn't have as many blueberries as I should, but it's very moist. And this lemon glaze, it's the way I did it. I put a little bit of butter and I put some lemon zest. It is a, a real punch of lemon, and it's so nice on a day like this. So just to end, unfortunately, I could not open this jar of rose petal um, spread. So that was the intention that I would have it with this, but we're going to have to save that for another time. On my way to my mother's house, I actually stopped a person who was walking. He opened it for me, but I still unfortunately cannot open it. So there you go. That's what happened so I'm gonna conclude here thank you for watching and I really hope people who are watching give this a try Make, making high tea making anything for tea that you're baking with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea um, just having a snack like this uh, especially if you've had a large breakfast it is really really nice and it's so nourishing and it's so comforting and it's so nice in January anyways thank you for watching talk to you again stay well stay safe talk to you again bye for now so here we are we've got the rose jam and rose spread and then you're gonna Good? It's very tasty, very good man. Okay, thank you. Good man.